Morning, Eric. Morning, Daria. This uh, Warriors trade for Kevin Love is really close to happening. This according to my sources. Okay. Now, wanna... now last night when I went to bed, it was yes. certainly being discussed. When you get somebody's father, like uh, Clay Thompson's dad, talking exactly. about it. You know, that, that it's it's pretty good. Huh? Oh, my God. I mean, so, and... so what, anything new? Well, I was just reading exactly what he said so he's a, a ESPN broadcaster in LA and he goes if this happens I'm gonna have to talk my son down off a ledge and he said yeah that it is close to happening by all accounts he says he and uh, Clay Thompson been talking about it all summer and that he the dad he's like you know I'd be depressed if it happens but it looks like it's gonna yeah well remember the first time you changed stations how upset you were oh my gosh I couldn't wait to leave oh, okay well that's right <laughs> Lawrence that's Kansas is TV, nice huh? don't get me wrong but uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it would be David Lee, Clay Thompson, a future first round draft pick, and then we get Kevin Love. And what do you think? The Warriors with Love? Yeah, I would do it. Yeah. I mean, and, and pretty much strictly, I think both of them forget David Lee. I mean, not forget him, but uh, yeah, he's fine. But the idea, you got two really outstanding young guys, and Love's only 25. He came out of uh, UCLA after his freshman year. Right. But if you have two guys that are really skilled like that, and one's a little bit bigger yeah. and gets you the rebounding and does some of that big man stuff. Right. I think you have to do it. Now, Clay's got plenty of guys on his side saying, don't do it, don't do it. But uh, that's like what the Warriors happen. missed last yeah. year. It was a good, strong rebounding guy. You know, uh, 49er coach Jim Harbaugh is complaining. The media is badgering him. He actually said he is tired of us badgering him. You know what would stop the badgering? Answer a question now and then. Yeah. yeah. Right? What about that? <laughs> How about this? Or don't have damn practices year-round. Oh, <laughs> well, so, yeah. So, we, or don't wear bad dad pants. You know, oh. and get all that. Anyway, so. Now, can you imagine, though, and I, and I haven't told you that I used this one in a while. Yeah. But, Again, you go to college, you put your parents $75,000 in loans in the hole, you get your degree, I'm a smart man, I've worked my butt off, right. and your first assignment, go out and have a football coach look down his nose at you. Right, and say, yeah. you know, don't ask me this. Uh, we've got, how many, it was a, we have 59 players with perfect attendance, and what do we want to do in the media? Focus on Vernon Davis and Alex Boone, who are not there. It's like, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course yeah, we but, do. But, but listen, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll give Harbaugh this much. If, if you answer, like, if you're sitting there in a press group and and somebody they you tell them hey they're not there we hope they'll right. show up blah 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 right and then somebody comes at you three four and five I, times yeah. again right that can be annoying when it's a, a sensitive deal right but that's why what well, they say that's why you make the big bucks but oh you know all this is during the old days they didn't practice like this uh, you know pretty much year round yeah it wasn't really out there you'd see everybody in uh, the end of july and then you'd go right into the season and so. by the way i don't know if you have to pay do you but they're going to have uh, two or three practices at levi stadium in august open to the public okay well, well we get to i don't know if we have to pay for that well that's good for a lot of people that'd be the only time they get <laughs> to see the 49ers no kidding and by the way harbaugh leaves tomorrow for peru i didn't know every year he goes on missionary uh, work well so he's, he's going he's to doing. peru okay good how about little Lucy Lee? So she's going to key a tee off in a couple hours at 10 a.m. just before that our time. Here she is in after round one at the U.S. Women's Open. Yeah. All she, she's like every other 11-year-old sixth grader, aside from playing golf amazingly. She just wants ice cream. So <laughs> cute. From Redwood Shores. Yeah. So uh, she, she'll try again today. I don't know if she's going to make the cut, but Oh, she's, she's so much better than I said last night, not to quote material, but I said... Uh, uh, after her press conference, it reminds me of Harbaugh. Uh, J Lucy Lee does? Very friendly. Very just, friendly. Just, oh, she's <laughs> terrific. I mean, I, I just can't believe it. Every time I see her, you know, I, and I see her talk and the way she handles herself, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe she's really 25. I know. I know. She's Other than the fact that she's, you know, uh, four foot nine and under 100 pounds. Yeah. Okay, so NASCAR. The big race, 100,000 people, Gary, and the race is until Sunday. I think you should leave now. I know uh -oh. there's a live shot. Look at all the people. So, because you got to get there by 9 o'clock tonight, right? We've already gone through this. What? The great Jim Swanson, you know yes. Jim? Yes. Who's producing the producing show? Producing the he show. Goes, Please do me a favor. And I said, yeah, he goes, just once. So, 3 o'clock today, I'm leaving. You're well, well, guess what? You know what? If you're not there, we're ready for a quick change in the pit. Did okay, you know well, this? Yeah, yeah, no, oh, no. But Kron has contingencies. They got the whole thing ready. I mean, the special is ready to go. The show needs to go on, Gary. Okay, okay I know, so but I just, don't, yeah. don't, don't think that if you don't show up, we'll be left high but and dry. Who's that in the picture? What? <laughs> what? Not bad in a tight jumpsuit, huh? Yeah. Mark Dannon what? is what? 
He's waiting in the wings. I know. That's a, So yesterday Did I go to the... And sorry, it's just that I've been doing this so long. So I show up at this thing at 1245. Yeah. And and I don't interview the guys till 230. Yeah. I don't like standing... Well, anyway. But that, so Swanson, this, the producer, tells me, he goes... Dan and lives close. That's right. Don't, and and uh, he's breathing so, down oh, your neck. Oh my God! Now you, you got a younger, better looking, right? handsome In guy. A, you're driving down my throat with a tight jumpsuit. He, I let all the people know this, but Mark Dannon was actually runner up to Tom Cruise to be in Days of Thunder. I don't well, know if you I know that. I won't argue with that. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. So, no wonder. So, maybe I better you. Maybe you're right. Maybe I better leave now. Do not get a flat tire or take the chopper if uh, possible. No, he did tell me that Mark lives what, like 15 minutes away. Oh yeah, he he will be just a phone call away. Yeah. Wee wee wee. You like uh, that? You I like that? I better go get a new toupee. I want you to feel secure. That's what I'm about. Nah, so tonight at nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, I asked you yesterday. You got to smoke. <laughs> yeah. I know. Just relax. What? All right. It's only I did TV. Get somebody. Somebody. Uh, sent me an email that said I didn't know you smoked. I, of yeah, course I don't I, smoke. I, people know. don't get a joke. I know it's great, but seriously, we're out there live, and there's a lot of people. Look at all the tires. That's what I think is crazy is they blow through these tires. I go through a few myself, but not like you know in one race. Yeah, yeah. Now Will Tran has been out there. Uh, we've had Jackie out there this morning. Uh, the great Cecil. Oh okay. yeah. So yeah, I mean, no, we're, we're, like I said, but, I'm taking my my kids. We're all gonna go. Oh, so are, do you have earplugs? I don't uh, know who's gonna be running around at nine o'clock, but we'll <laughs> we got a show. It should be fun. No, I'm not kidding about the earplugs. Do you have them for for the kids? I, I, and I'm not joking either. I, on a, on a uh, uh, with a race this Sunday, you think they'll be r r going around? I mean to drown you out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm that's kidding. Not, show me Dannon again. Let me look at how good he looks. I mean, Sam, right? He's not a bad-looking guy. And with the tight jumpsuit, you could just see him in the movie, right? Good. Well, you yeah. guys are putting the pressure yeah. on me. I don't mean to, you know, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to pressure you, but... Oh, my God. All right. You, you know something? See, I've got to talk and try and be funny. Dannon can just stand there. That's what, that's what a good head of hair will do for you. Oh, that's a All wig. Right. Okay, I really think it's a wig. <laughs> We're ready for the special tonight at 9 o'clock. I hope it goes off without a hitch. Yeah, and, and thanks uh, for uh, talking about what I'm going to do. Don't we worry about it. three minutes of Dannon. Don't worry. You know, and Harbaugh is busy. He won't be watching. He's packing tonight from Peru. Okay, you got Dannon. We've that. got Peru. Okay. 11-year-old <laughs> golfer. And then I'm going to stand up there and say, gentlemen, start your age. Hey, hey, and don't forget Sunday at 3 for the uh, Americans playing soccer. Okay, young lady. All right, we'll see you later, Gary. All right, Gary.